Hello everyone and good morning. We're here today to celebrate our eighth grade graduates of the year 2020. Now before I begin, I'd like to thank Mr. Lucas, Ms. McNary, Ms. Gonzalez, and Mr. Griffin. We truly couldn't have done it without you. Not only them, but our teachers, Mr. Drafala, Ms. Molosha, Mr. Morales, Ms. Bagley, Ms. Marco, our special teachers, Ms. Maloney, Ms. Ali, Mr. Gastolak, Ms. Auntie Smith, Ms. Tuchelis, Ms. Roland, and all of our teachers from our past years. Well, we did it. It seems like it was just yesterday we were all entering for our first day of eighth grade. I'm sure that as a whole, we can all agree that we've stuck together through thick and thin. In the past three years I've spent at Dirksum, I've had a great run, and I'm sure you all have as well. From the day we enter kindergarten to the day we first enter high school, the lessons and the memories we've gained at Dirksen will stick next to us for the rest of our lives. Not only have we all had our rough times, but we've all had amazing memories. Remember the time when we went to the movies and we all came out bawling our eyes? Or the time where everybody was late? Remember all the CNN tens we watch just waiting to cringe at Carl Zeus's jokes? Well, I also remember when we used to look up at last year's eighth graders. Remember when we used to see them down the hallways and they had that upper grade power? Well, now it's our time to pass it along. Although this isn't the graduation we pictured, it sure is one to remember. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Jorge Lara, and our salutatorians, Catherine Markoska and Christiana Savova. Congratulations. Throughout your years at Dirksen, you three have shown constant acts of independence, courage, and leadership. Jorge, you've always gone over and beyond with your schoolwork, and you've always put high effort and care into your studies. You've always put your studies first and take the time to create masterpieces. You're an extremely great friend to everyone and care for your peers heavily. You're intelligent, proactive, diligent, and mature. You can do great things in life. Always remember that everything happens for a reason. And if you ever fall, pick yourself right up because it's just a new door with new beginnings. Catherine, any chance you get to fight for what's right, you always take it. You've always put passion and thought into your work as well as putting it first. You take the time to help others as much as possible and teach us all a new thing every day. You are amiable, diplomatic, and quick-witted. You're a genuine, intelligent, and thoughtful person, Catherine, and I see great things awaiting for you in the future. Christy, you've always put others before yourself, and as a personal friend, I can confirm it. You're optimistic and always take opportunities to help others. You're intelligent, generous, hardworking, and independent. You're dependable and ambitious. You bring light into any room you walk into and encourage others to do the same. You have a strong future ahead of you. Stay strong. Remember, all of you can achieve what others call impossible. You're all intelligent in your own ways. Make the mark that you wanna see in the world because you are powerful. Now, it's time to say goodbye, but I think goodbyes are sad for which I'd rather say hello. Hello to new beginnings, new opportunities, and new adventures. It was a good ride, and I wish you all the best. See you in the future. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome students and family members to our virtual graduation ceremony for the Dirksen class of 2020. Our administrators, teachers, and staff are grateful to share this day with you as we celebrate our graduates and their accomplishments as they move on to a new phase in their life. First, congratulations to all the graduates. I know that these last few months haven't been easy and there are so many expectations and much excitement about the end of our school year. And to graduate this year, this way at this time is definitely more difficult than we ever expected. Today you are embarking on a new exciting journey, which really began about eight years ago. Some of you are probably extremely excited to uh, close this chapter in your life 
and move on. And some of you may be a little bit sad because you made some good relationships that you cultivate, cultivated over the year. However you feel, it's important to know this really is a new beginning. You've reached your goals, hopefully made forever friends, and learned to use challenges as opportunities to grow, to overcome each problem with strength, and to start all over when needed. I wanted to give you a little bit of advice. Number one would be to always be yourself. Always stand up for what you believe in. Always question what other people tell you to do. And know that there is a reason for everything. Every mistake, every problem that you had to face was an opportunity to grow. Be kind, respect yourself so that other people can also respect you. Never apologize for being you. Enjoy your four years in high school and then move on to college. Thank you. Hi, Dirksen Elementary School, Principal Lucas and staff. This is Alderman Anthony Napolitano of the 41st Ward. I wanna give a big congratulation to you on your 2020 graduation. This is a great time in your life. Celebrate it, enjoy it. Remember one of the most important things is you need to come back now as alumni and celebrate that beautiful school that you fought for. As you go on into the future, remember, keep your head up, stay positive. As 41st Warders, we're going to get through this together. God bless you, stay safe, and congratulations. So, Linda, hello. Welcome to our 8th grade graduations. I am Catherine Mancosco, one of this year's 8th grade salutatorians. I'd like to share a quote from Ben Platt's song, Older, that I feel represents all of us. When you are younger, you'll wish you're older. Then when you're older, you'll wish for time to turn around. Don't let your wonder turn into closure. I am grateful for the lessons that I have learned from eighth grade. This eighth grade year has been a lesson of perseverance and strength and toughness. We've had a long, difficult year with many injustices done against us. We lost our in-person graduation, seeing each other, some education, and the right to not be afraid of an invisible enemy. But we prevailed. We adapted to our situation and have learned a lot about ourselves. I am proud of us for everything I have mentioned here and more. <laughs> Changing the future is imperative. We're living through a global pandemic, a time for the history books. We cannot let what has happened to the world happen again. We see clearly that the people who deny the pandemic and cause it to spread. Taking these mistakes, we can do the right thing and flatten the curve of the virus. Pushing forward with education and learning is a key to life success and living. It's hard, but I know I can do it. Signing off, Catherine Markoska. Hello everyone, it's Ms. Rowland. I would like to present the Art Award for Outstanding Leadership in the Visual Arts to Serene Doden. Serene, I know you are new this year to Dirksen, but you have shown such great passion and dedication towards your art. You have demonstrated such creativity in your drawings from your beautiful characters to your whimsical landscapes and your lovely designs. You are such a leader within yourself. You are unafraid to express your ideas, to be who you are through your art. You are such a kind and thoughtful person who recognizes the beauty in others. You've been a great help in art class. Thank you, I appreciate it. Serene, I wish you the best on your creative journey. Keep making your art, lady. Never stop, follow your heart. I would also like to acknowledge all of the eighth graders and their accomplishments in their graduation. It has been such a joy being part of your journey at Dirksen, watching you grow into such amazing and strong individuals. You've all shown such compassion and acceptance towards one another. You've supported your peers and stood by them when needed. You are all brave and you have a beautiful heart. We need more of you in this world. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Always follow your heart and always be true to yourself. The future is yours and you better come back and visit. I miss you all. Take care. Congratulations.
Hello, my name is Aggie Suleimani, and today I will be speaking on behalf of Miss Auntie Smith. I will be presenting the Dirksen 2020 Performing Arts Award. There are no secrets to success. It usually comes to people that are too busy working hard to take the time to look for it. This is true of success in many areas in life, and it is certainly true of success in acting. Acting is a craft, and I am frequently asked if I feel a given actor has talent. The winner of the 2020 Dirksen Performing Arts Award certainly does. However, talent is potential and potential is the most wasted resource in the world. For talent to be fruitful, it must be critiqued and exercised. Talent combined with positivity and work ethic are the magic formula to success. This year's winner possesses both of these traits in excess. His ability to behave truthfully under imaginary circumstances should be the goal of every actor. He has developed this through utilizing these traits. It has been said that a wise one welcomes direction, but a fool shuns it. The winner of the Dirksen 2020 Performing Arts Award not only welcomes direction, but he seeks after and applies it. This actor can be casted in any role, straightforward or character abstract or concrete, dramatic or comedic, and he will embrace the part with enthusiasm and diligence. I can count on him to drive from that and utilize the methods and techniques taught in drama class over the past years to render a stellar performance. His intensive work on character studies creates him in a deep personal connection with every character he plays. And as we say in the theater, the more personal, the more universal. As in every other art form, music, dance, etc., great acting is most frequently achieved by attaining a skill set while drawing from these skills at the same time. Our winner is a master at extrapolating, synthesizing, and expounding on his prior knowledge for the sake of the performance. In addition to making every project his personal best, our winner possesses an uncanny ability to bring out the best in others. His enthusiasm, positivity, and inclusiveness are infectious. This type of energy is essential to the development of a powerful cast, and thus a great performance. In drama class, in the rehearsals and performance of every other school play, in any other interaction, Jorge Lara has been a pleasure to teach and direct. Congrats, Jorge. I just wanted to say that you deserve everything and I just wanted to let you know thank you for being an amazing friend and thank you to everyone else as well. Congrats to everyone. Good morning, Dirksen students. This is your teacher, Miss Ali. First of all, I would love to congratulate every single one of you on your graduation. Congratulations. Most of you I've known since kindergarten to now teenagers. Some of you I've known for a couple of years. Nonetheless, I've learned a great deal from every single one of you. Why am I wearing graduation hat, you ask? I'm celebrating with you guys with the 2020 Dirksen shirt. Um, I want you to enjoy your high school career, I want you to enjoy your college career, and I want to give you some advice before you graduate. First, I want you to be positive. 
I want you to open your eyes and explore the world. I want you to be the change that you want to see. I want you to be bold. I want you to be confident. I want you to be nice. I want you to take care of not only yourself, but others around you as well. In this world where you see a lot of things going wrong, do the right thing. I want you to enjoy education. I want you to explore the world. I want you to believe in yourself. I want to tell you to never, ever, ever give up on yourself. On this note, I want you to enjoy your summer. Have a great, great summer. And I hope we can see each other again soon. Eight years ago, we walked through the doors of the Dirksen building. We let go of our parents' hands and we were greeted by a bunch of smiling faces. Those were our teachers. Strangers at first, they became our mentors, coaches, advisors, and trusted adults. They took us in and taught us how to read and write, solve math problems, introduced us to the secrets of science, they took us back in time and told us about the history of the world, they showed us how to navigate the virtual world and be creative, they showed us how to play sports and stay healthy. Every year they helped us expand our knowledge, helped us become critical thinkers, they taught us how to become better people. Our teachers left a long-lasting impression on our hearts, and we thank you for that. I vaguely remember my first day, but I remember that I was scared and lonely. That feeling is long gone. Over the last eight years, I've had hour-long FaceTime calls, sleepovers, group projects, late night basketball games with friends, multiple iMessage games, basketball championships, Dirksen soccer games, fun Fridays, midnight Khan Academy lessons, and so much more. All of my years here at Dirksen will be remembered with lots of laughs and memories. As we move into high school, I hope we can remain one big family and hold on to our friendships. Some of us have been here an entire decade. A decade ago, we were kids who knew nothing. Now, 2020 is the start of a new decade and it marks a new beginning. We are leaving as young adults ready to take on life. The only way we can repay the people who have helped us along the way is to use what they taught us. We made lifelong friends inside those doors and we couldn't have done it without our friends, teachers, and family. Congratulations, class of 2020, we did it. Congratulations to the class of 2020, you finally did it. Good luck to all of you in high school, and I know that all of you will go on to do great things in life. And a very special shout out to Maya Sexton. You made it. Good luck in high school, and good luck in all the things you do in life. You're beautiful, and you're great, and you're gonna be wonderful. Good luck. Hi everyone, I am Allison Bagley, a special education teacher here at Dirksen School. This year I have the honor of presenting a student with the award for Most Improved, whom I have chosen Aya Hale. I have known Aya since she was in third grade and it's such a pleasure to watch her grow into a remarkable, responsible, and intelligent young lady. She has stood out in the classroom, whether it's utilizing her creativity providing insightful answers or commanding the audience attention with her gleaming confidence. I know from personal experience during small group, she often kept order when she talked, everyone would listen and she was a voice of reason. Of course, you cannot forget about birthdays and holidays and how they would not have been the same without Aya's special touch. She took that decorating committee by storm and she displayed leadership qualities immediately. I know Aya has a promising future, and I am so proud of her and all that she has accomplished. So congratulations, Aya. You deserve it. And congrats to Class of 2020. Hello, Class of 2020. I hope you and your families are all doing well. Although we cannot celebrate together in person, I applaud all of your achievements from this past year. You have a lot to look forward to in high school. Whatever you decide to do, uh, make sure that you are respectful, you are honest, and you take responsibility for all of your actions. I'd like to congratulate Catherine on being the recipient of this year's Social Studies Award. She worked extremely hard, showed great respect for the study of history, and showed great kindness and empathy. I wish all of you the best moving forward. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now you have some free time. Good luck. Hello, my name is Mike Trapala, 
and I am the reading teacher for the eighth grade. I wanted to take time to talk to you about a student that I feel deserves high praise for their work in reading these last two years. Over the last two years, my students have worked so hard, from Pearson to Harry Potter to the Hunger Games to the Giver in seventh grade, and back to Pearson and the Percy Jackson series to the Inherent Cycle to the Maze Runner. We've read a lot of books. We cover plot and setting, and I dare say tons of figurative language if I can hyperbolize. We've had many musical numbers utilizing the fine and performing arts as well. From vocabulary to Descartes, this young woman has stood out as an example of working at a top-notch level and consistently getting even stronger over time. I'd like to acknowledge Susanna Nisgoda for the high honors for literacy. Even though I've known Susanna for two years, I've known the family for a while now. And meeting Susanna last year, I've seen she is one that does things her own way, but always has a new perspective and brings a spark to the table. She is powerful and she is fierce. I am so proud of her and how she has pushed herself in my classroom. And I'm sure she might be surprised, but Susanna, when you do the right thing, people do notice and have respect for you. You've done such a phenomenal job these last two years, and I just wanted to say congratulations on your award and your accomplishments and graduating today. It is my privilege to recognize your Donna Patrician for an exceptional work ethic in math throughout the school year, as well as demonstrating leadership qualities in every situation. Your Donna is someone I didn't really know until this year, and as I got to know her, I noticed her undeniable leadership skills, as well as her ability to take charge and stay positive in every situation. So I'm very proud to give your Donna the Class of 2020 Math Award. Congratulations, your Donna. Uh, before I start, I'd like to thank both Catherine and Christy for their incredible speeches. They have both worked very hard this year, and they really, they deserve this. They deserve to do this, and so thank you for those speeches. Those, the speeches were great. Throughout the year, we've gone through many things. One dance, two map tests, 2,000 spencils, and many, many broken bones. This will be a year we all remember from the memories we cherish and the experiences we hold dear to the history made with us not being in the physical classrooms for what seems like forever. Our perseverance has been tested throughout the year in a variety of ways, and it will continue to be tested as we move forward in life. As we start high school, it is important that we maintain a healthy sense of perseverance. We will get through finals and the SATs, and we will get through all the Mondays and the Fridays. We will be able to experience everything the next four years has to offer, and we will deal with deadlines and make things work. There will be ups and downs, and there will be times where it seems like we won't get through or it seems impossible to get done. But with perseverance, hard work, and the will to push ourselves to do better, we will find that we can do the unthinkable. The power to push yourselves up is envied by those who cannot, and that is something that each and every one of us has. It'll help us fight through the hard times and glide through the easy ones. If our time at Dirksen has taught us anything, is that it is that with perseverance, hard work, and the will to do better, you can fight for what you believe in and reach any and all of your goals. This is, this is weird for me, for all of us, right? I'm going to be honest, right? It's I would have never thought we would be graduating via Google Meets and a virtual ceremony. I would have never thought I would be delivering my speech through a recording, me recording right now. You know, I have my pink button down and my purple tie, and what you don't see is, right, my bottom half. It's, you know, this. And, <laughs> you know, I this is... I would have never pictured us graduating like this for, from the comfort of our own homes, but, you know, that's beside the point. It's, it's important, it's really important that, you know, we're all here, we're all together, even if we're not in the same room, we're all, you know, all right here. We can see everyone and see all our teachers and 
that that's what's really important that we're all here for each other we're all together celebrating this day in our lives it's it's a milestone in our lives as we move forward and you know get ready for that high school journey and you know we're the Dirksen class of 2020 and you know that's that's a big reason to celebrate and that's something that we're we should be all proud of and you know like let's end this year with something memorable and something that will that we can talk about for you know years and but anyways you know I you know it's really important I'd really like to give a thanks to all the administration for making this possible and for you know running the school and keeping it in a safe environment you know to Mr. Lucas Mr. Griffin and Miss McNeary thank you all for keeping the school safe and running it and keeping it in shape and thank you for helping making this ceremony possible without you we wouldn't have any of this and we wouldn't have been able to formally graduate eighth grade so you know i thank you for that and for everything really i'd also like to put aside a moment to thank all the extraordinary teachers we've had for the past two years and beyond uh to mr trapala miss melosha and mr morales i thank you for making us into the people we are today and leading us through this journey in life and thank you for continuing to guide us when we weren't in the physical classrooms and for you know dealing with us through for the whole year and everything you know and the memories we've made and your classes and throughout the year will forever be with us to conclude the speech i'd like to quote one of my favorite movies uh, ferris bueller's day off life is pretty short if you don't stop and look around once in a while you could miss it the quote reminds us that sometimes stopping and taking everything in is the key to living fully uh, especially as we're entering high school it's important that we that not everything revolves around our schoolwork and that we take that time for ourselves to take a look around and absorb everything and you know living life to its fullest so that's that's important and, you know thank you thank you for bearing with me in this and you know let's hope let these memories you know let these memories last longer than this ever changing never ending year <laughs> thank you greetings students parents teachers and lsc and other visitors today is a very important day in the lives of our dirks and eighth graders we are here to celebrate graduation from elementary school along with a move to high school. Parents, we are very proud of the work your children have done while here at Dirksen. I have to say that this year has had us all caught up in the midst of a pandemic, which has caused all of us to shelter in place and take on remote learning. We're proud of all our students and teachers for making their way through remote learning for the very first time. Students, as you move your way through high school, I want you to remember that the lessons you have learned while here at Dirksen, I want you to remember those lessons and apply them to your high school experience. But I also have some tips that'll help you along the way throughout your continued schooling and into college and career. First, go to class every day. In life, if you show up prepared and ready, you will be successful no matter what you take on. Second, be on time. Showing up on time demonstrates that you respect the group and are interested in learning and participating. Third, get involved in a sport, club, or other activity. It is proven that participating in extracurricular activities is both enjoyable and also provides additional activities that enhance your people skills. Fourth, forge a relationship with a staff member in your high school that can provide you some guidance and help you navigate through the challenges of life. Everybody needs a mentor and it's very important. And if you follow these four simple things, I guarantee that you will have a positive high school experience. And you'll also be well prepared to face the challenges that go beyond high school. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. You all have a variety of unique talents and gifts 
to bring to the world. Stay positive and remember that you will always be a Dirksen Senator. Thank you and best of luck to you in your future. Hello students and families. I'm Assistant Principal Mr. Griffin. I would like to congratulate all of the Dirksen students and wish them their best as they continue on the high school. Please enjoy your summer before you begin that experience. I will now read the names of the class of 2020 Dirksen School 8th grade graduates at this time. Alam Abdullah, Limar Aboon, Leon Ahmed, Tala Ahmed, Sarah Ahmed, Juliano Alvarez, Chris Angulo, Elizabeth Antunez, Amar Sikhan Arumbold, Tranel Bibato, Melissa Benchik, Maxim Blyshock, Romelo Centron, Anthony Diaz, Salal Aldin Doden, Serene Doden, Marcus Dezana, Eamon Isad. Demetrius Frierson, Anna Fiersick, Andre Galatanu, Christopher Galindo, Lily Gorgiva, Damian Jezuski, Andrew Gazaldo, Aya Hale, Mohamed Husamidin. Omar Husamidin, Mustafa Hussein, Jose Jericho, Lean Kanarkri, Madge Kanarkri, Anna Korienko, David Kozinski, Tatiana Kolchitska, Jorge Lara. Mohamed Lekrabat, Cynthia Lopez, Sarah Luati, Nathan Magliosetti, Jaden Manuel, Catherine Markoska, Oleg Matishuk, Menar Mohamed, Roberto Moran. Susanna Nizgoda, Noel Niamagotov, Carlos Pacheco, Lisa Patel, Mario Perez, Jordana Pietrashin, Dennis Pitserkovny, Jacob Rapala, Jacob Redder. Alejandro Rocha, David Rumpel, Nicholas Rusev, Sahara Semra, Lana Sestic, Christiana Savova, Maya Sexton, Simon Sawicki, Mateusz Gaza. Anthony Samajo, Sofia Staranchek, Yana Stavnitsha, Anastasia Stojakovic, Egi Sulimani, Kasper Sazik, Alexander Vasilev, Alexander Villasenor, Brandon Warble. Salim Abu Yitesh, Stanislav Gorenko. It's been a long day with 
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. All the planes we flew, good things we have been through That I be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place uh, How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. From where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again Let me tell you when See you again First you both go out your way And the vibe is feeling strong And what's small turn to a friendship A friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last so one let the light guide you away Yeah And every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, oh, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about Before we close our presentation of the Everett McKinley Dirksen Class of 2020 graduation, I'd like to leave you with this. This is a response to a story we discussed in seventh grade from a young woman graduating today. I remember a time where I had an argument with one of my closest friends last year in sixth grade. The argument lasted about a month, yet we eventually became closer as friends and now treat each other like sisters. When we argue, I feel comfortable and open to say my feelings because we've come so far and close. I believe we came back to each other because I love her a lot and we are able to relate, and we have an amazing friendship. This is a response to An Invisible Thread by Laura Schroff and Alex Trisnovsky, and based off of an old Chinese proverb that says, an invisible thread connects two people 
who are destined to meet and influence each other. Class of 2020, with everything we've gone through this year, you are that invisible thread. Remember your time here as you move on to the next stage of your life. And always be kind and work hard. And remember that you're part of this invisible thread. And it will be with you for the rest of your days. Goodbye. And thank you for being part of this presentation.